Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. I got a benchtop multimeter in here, and uh, I want to talk about this thing and kind of do a little quick review. And uh, just I want to see how cool this thing is because it's under a hundred dollars. You know, you're kind of wondering what can you get in a benchtop meter for under a hundred dollars? Well, this is from Zotex. So we're gonna find out. They seem to offer some really good meters at a really good price. So, um, you know, I was interested in this one. They reached out and asked me if I was interested. I'm like, heck yeah, I want to see this thing. Plus, I've had some people ask me about benchtop meters, and someone just recently. And so I thought, well, before I respond to him, I'll, I'll have to do a review on this. Okay? So this is from Zotec. Thank you, Zotec. They gave it to me for free. You know, they don't ask me to say anything or anything like that. I'm not even sure if they gave me a link. Sometimes I'm, I'm asked to show a link, and I always provide that link, which that's no biggie, right? Uh, but yeah, this guy here, let's talk about it, okay? First of all, let me say what it doesn't have. As a benchtop meter, some people look for them because they want a four wire input. This does not have that, you know? So when you're testing like low ohms and that kind of thing, yeah, it doesn't have that. But for under 100 bucks, yeah, it's not a surprise, right? Uh, the other thing with benchtop meter is they're usually high counts, lots of digits. Well, this one has 20,000 counts, so it's pretty good. It's not as high as other ones like my Keithley over there, but, you know, 100 bucks. 20,000 counts is pretty darn good. Most multimeters are 6,000 counts. Well, okay, so let's talk about all the cool things about this benchtop. Now, some benchtops, like, you know, the ones I have here, like this Keithley, they're deep. That was kind of the old form factor. This little Unity generator I have, if you can see it, see how small it is? This form factor is more like that. So it doesn't take a lot of depth on your bench. You can sit it back here and take room. But instead of a stand-up meter like this that, you know, people are reviewing, they try to push buttons with, you can see the heel key's very stable, right? But some meters, you know, they wobble around and all that kind of stuff. Well, bench top, it's sitting like this, so it's much more stable, okay? Uh, it also plugs in, so you don't have to worry about batteries. You know, things plug in, right? That's nice. So bench tops are really nice. They used to be a lot more common, but it's funny how bench tops are, are not as common as they used to be for some reason. I think, I don't know why. That kind of baffles me in some ways. Some labs, you see a lot of them. Other labs, you don't see them. Well, this guy does plug in. It's a bench top, but it also has batteries. It has those 18650s. It has two of them, I believe. So it can hold a charge for a while. Those are some big batteries. And uh, it's super nice that they're rechargeable. So, by the way, did I mention this is under 100 bucks? <laughs> Zotec, way to go. I mean, rechargeable batteries in a multimeter. Who would have thunk? <laughs> Let's talk about what it does have. It's a bench top, it plugs in, but it has rechargeable batteries also, so you can take it mobile, okay? It, it has wireless connectivity, Bluetooth, okay? So instead of IR port, where you have a cable and a module and software you have to buy and you're not working with a company like that. You're working with someone where you get a free app and you got Bluetooth. So you can log information. You can be charging, discharging batteries. You can be taking measurements out on your car or in your furnace room or somewhere. Be upstairs having dinner, pull up your phone and just look at some measurements. So if you are taking measurements like that remotely and um, or, you know, in the lab and you want to walk away from your lab, you can keep track of your meter. So that's really cool. Well, that Bluetooth also operates a sound system. <laughs> yeah, sound, yeah, it has speakers built in, which is seems kind of crazy, right? Seems kind of gimmicky. But then, you know, often in labs, the techs, the, the people that work in the labs, the engineers that work in labs, I they listen to music or listen to books on tape, things like that. And uh, and if you're home alone, you know, you don't have anybody to bother, then sure, you might want to do those things. So, yeah, this guy has, uh, and from what I understand, the sound is pretty good. So we're going to find out, okay? But, yeah, you don't have to listen to it. It's still under 100 bucks. It's kind of thrown in. I, I, yeah, that's just 
an interesting thing. I'm sure some people are going, oh man, I want a, I want a bench top meter like that. And others are going, yeah, I don't need that. <laughs> but it's a cool feature, right? Still, under a hundred bucks. This, uh, the predecessor of this came out, I want to say a year, two years ago. And it had many of the same features. Now, some of those things we just talked about might be upgraded since then. Uh, the specs seem like they're very similar. So, but I've heard the sound might be better than this. I'm not, I don't know. Because I, I never had the other one. So, uh, the, things may have changed. But the specs look very similar. The one thing that did change, the one thing they added to this, was a little button on your probe. Yeah, so when you hit that little button, it'll speak to you and it'll read out the volts to you. Audibly, right? <laughs> so, you're uh, working at the bench. And so again, it might sound gimmicky, but you know what? If you're working at a bench and you got your head inside the thing, you're looking at a schematic, you're reading this, you look at the schematic, reading that, instead of having to look at the schematic, hold the probe and not slide off and short something, which I myself have done that, and I've seen it done, so I know it happens. <laughs> you know, you try to be careful, you stab, and you try not to move, and you look, and then you, you hear a little spark, you do this, and you're like, ah, what was it, you know? Anyway, so if you're doing that, it'll give you a voltage readout. We're going to see, you know, what that sounds like, and if it's understandable, or if it's too computer-generated, too much of a voice kind of thing, you know what I mean. Anyway, let's come over here to the bench, take a look at this thing, and see what we think. All right? All right, guys, here's the box. Just wanted to kind of show you. Here's all the little things that are kind of pointing out. Music. It has an alarm clock and time. It has an alarm clock, too. And time. Reads frequency, capacitance, buzzer, all the stuff. Bluetooth, four and a half digit, which translates to 20,000 counts. See, 1999. <laughs> and uh, here's the little display. We're going to just power it up, but just wanted to kind of show you the box. Okay. Yeah, just just a box, but you know, kind of nice. Okay, and then inside, that's what it looks like. Haven't taken it out or anything yet. So here's our leads. Check this out. This jack here looks different. It's metal because there's something else. There should be a button on. Oh, there we go. There's a button on that. We're gonna take these out. All right, guys. So got the leads out. And uh, yeah, they're your basic test seats, kind of. Uh, nice strain relief on the ends. They're different, look at this. Different kind of connection. So we got our normal ground down there, and then we have this little metal shield thing looking. And there's our red one. So what we have is on the black lead, there's a little button and yeah, we'll see how that works, okay? But yeah, you have your little, you know, these are your little protective things. Now, these benchtop meters, they normally don't say CAT. They normally don't say CAT 3, CAT 4 because they're benchtops. You don't take them in those categories, but, all right? And, you know, uh, these leads, they actually kind of look, they feel kind of bigger than normal, but, huh, interesting. All right, so let's see what else we have in here. Okay, we have our manual. And these manuals, I've seen these manuals before. I've got another multimeter from Zotec. And it's very similar. So anyway, yeah, they're decent little manuals. All right, so let's go ahead and take this guy out now. Oh, there's one more thing in the box here. Okay, there's a... USB cable. I think this is a charge cable. All right, so it's packaged nicely, and there it is. You can kind of see the size there. Kind of hold on. Okay, we got some buttons here. Power mode, and I think this is for intensity, uh, brighter or dimmer. So that's really nice. You can change the intensity on this meter, and Celsius or Fahrenheit right here. So Bluetooth DMM. Scan for that. 
Okay, cool. Have to do that. And uh, and mode, you you can uh, change the clock or the alarm clock uh, with this, I think. Well, okay. So here, flipping it back over. Now uh, there's batteries in it, right? So let's see. Let's go hit the power button. Oh. DC voltage. DC voltage. DC voltage. DC voltage. Wow. DC voltage. DC voltage. Okay. DC voltage. DC voltage. DC voltage. That's DC interesting. Voltage. So, wow. I wonder if that's because the probes weren't plugged in. That was interesting, right? I mean, we are on DC voltage, so that's true. There's AC. I wonder if I un un disconnect this. Thought it might talk to us again. Okay, if I go push the button. AC voltage 0 0.0519 volt. Okay, that, you know, I, I think because it's jumping all over, it's not giving a correct number there. But anyway, that was interesting. This sound sounds good, right? 10C. It's kind of chilly in my lab, isn't it? 9.37, we'll have to set up the time and all that. Uh, volume. Okay. Volume knob, I guess. I, it feels like it's, you know, feels like you should be able to push it in, but it doesn't seem to. It's just a rotary coder here. And it's kind of a silicon fill around the edge. So... We're going to have to peel off these old plastic things, right? There we go. Take that one off. There we go. I think the display is coming across in the camera, but it looks really nice. I think it's nice. Now, what's this? Oh, that's uh, changing the range. Oh, volume or range. Oh, I see. Volume or range. Then... Yeah, see the decimal point? Okay, so... Manual. If I go all the way back, it's auto. Alright, so that's that's what that is. And then we have our Zotec here. I'm going to take this little thing off too. There we go. That looks much better, right? Nice and shiny Zotec. ZT5566SE. We have milliamps and amps. Uh, tw it says 20 amps. That's why these uh, wires are pretty big because it goes up to 20 amps uh, fused and tw 200 milliamps fused over here. Okay, so just go through the buttons real quick, just see what it looks like. Man, nice display. DC AC. Look at that. Dual display with the Hertz. Love that. Got the hold feature right here. Just wondering if I just held it down, if it did anything. Here's Max Man. And then hold it and it goes back to auto. And look, we have a relative. That's cool. Okay, nice. Let's uh, do some uh, measurements. Actually, I wanted to show you the bottom of the meter. Let's see, how do you get those up? You have to get your fingernail in there. Man, my fingernails. Those little, okay, they stick down in there pretty tight. I keep on hearing little beeps up there. Okay, so that goes forward. Now, these things are rubberized, soft rubber. So that's grippy. And this is a little bit denser uh, rubber. So it kind of has this rubber border that goes around the meter here. And uh, yeah, there's the little feet come out. Okay, that's that's nice. All right, guys, a couple things I wanted to point out back here. This is kind of a rubber little boot here, so it kind of seals that off, closes it off. But that's where you plug the USB in to charge it, charge batteries. I've taken the screw out of this. All right, wow, look at those. Wow, they're they're big old boys. So they're 2,000 milliamp hour batteries. And they are 18650s. Lithium ion, you know, 3.7 volts. 
uh, 7.4 watt hours so uh, two of them man that's nice wish all multimeters came with two big 18650s like that let me just look down behind it wow those springs in there hold those batteries in tight okay Okay, so you don't see a PCB, it's shielded from the, you know, the board, so that's good. So if something were to leak, it's not going to go down and damage your board. Yeah, so to take this off, um, you know, the screws are pretty deep in here, but a standard screwdriver works. I saw someone review these, and, and I think they almost wanted to give a, a mark off because they said, take such a long screwdriver but it's just your standard screwdriver well it's a Phillips head all right guys I took the screws out and first of all it pops off pretty quick and easy and this is a rubberized uh, border around here so it might help seal out some dust because it's got a nice you know soft rubber against a hard plastic and I understand this is ABS plastic so Boy, that's pretty cool looking meter, huh? Okay, there's our fuses. Let me disconnect these. All right, there we go. Now, here's our temperature. Uh, yeah, that's picking up the temperature. So it's just kind of sitting up inside the box to read ambient temperature. Here is the Bluetooth antenna right there. And there's a crystal, so... Uh, and there's another crystal so this crystals I don't know which chip it's working with but this one I assume is working with that guy okay, I'll bring the camera up close so you can look at things a couple few aluminum electrolytics over here in the power supply and then you know obviously our fuses they're not high energy rupture fuses because it's not a category 3 category 4 type thing and it's labeled to 20 amps 250 200 milliamps 250 and there's our current shunt right there a bunch of MELF resistors another one here okay guys so here's the board hopefully you can see the chips that you want to see All right, guys, I just thought I'd let you scan the board and take a look at the chips. See the relay here. And then this part right here is kind of cool. Okay, so that little chip right here is the Morn Sun. It's a little DC DC uh, regulator, it's a plus or minus 5 volt regulator. And this chip right here, and this chip right here are both display chips. They are the ET6621S. And this one's for, I guess, large display, and this one's for the small display. So this board must run the little small display down here. And I believe this chip is the, uh, and I believe this chip right here is the EEPROM probably to hold the clock and the uh, alarm information a couple of bridge rectifiers might be for the current you know the two different current inputs so there we go all right guys there's four screws there's one still there I got the one out there and there's one here and one here and these cables by the way have this foam thing to protect them from uh, getting rubbed down here. So yeah, you see that little foam there It's like heat shrink Or like tape, but it really feels foamy <laughs> So yeah, these little screws here. Okay, I'm gonna leave them there. They're still kind of captured a little bit But it says MTC here. That's kind of interesting But there's your speakers one on this end too so pretty interesting um, I guess yeah there's material I didn't even notice that a little soft material for the speaker on both sides 
and yeah you can see the cable it's got that foam tape and there's some of that foam tapey down here on the uh, bottom of the battery compartment that's where those two uh, lithium ion batteries are and this must be okay yeah this right here is the input charging station comes right here so this all right guys just kind of zoom in so you can see the inductor down here uh, this is where the charging's happening for the batteries some little MOSFETs to turn on and off power to the to the meter I guess and it's interesting that the board goes all the way back I guess it's oh, okay there's the buttons up here that's why so we got the buttons on the other side and there they are there so all right that's pretty cool <clears throat> okay guys and then on the back side here's a big woofer speaker so yeah I imagine this probably does sound pretty good uh, I've loosened up the screws because I thought I'd try to take this apart but can I I might have one screw left to, nope I think I got it okay there's oh I see so that's a passive radiator Okay, that uh, puts out your woofer sound, so, and there's your two drivers. Wow, interesting setup. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get this little spongy thing back in place and put this thing back together. Hey, just before I do, I thought I'd zoom in and show you the speaker type right there. I'm sure they're the same thing. All right, guys, got it back together. Got the time set and a oh, little dirty display, I guess. Um, all right, so let's see. The Bluetooth app hooks up really quickly. I see, saw the Bluetooth thing blinking, open up my phone, connected, and hit play, and away it went. It's a new model. All right, guys, playing my YouTube. Improved how many digits? So you get 20,000 counts. That's pretty awesome. You may have seen me take it out of this box in a couple of videos ago. They gave it to me as a gift along with this shirt. So I thought I'd wear the shirt. Wow. The meter. All right, guys. So I scanned that in and came, it downloaded, you know, the uh, app. And then I pulled up the app and I just touched one of these Bluetooth things and it found the Bluetooth meter, or found the DMM, so I hit it and it came up with that. So then I just hit this and now I got my screen. Pretty nice, so you can log things with this. Um, there's a chat, it looks like. All right, guys, let's see if you can watch this. Um, and just adjust the voltage, kind of move it around so we can watch it on the graph. Okay, it's auto ranging. You can see that. Okay, I can zero this out. All right, so you can zero out the voltage. You can bring it back. See that it was zero, it. and then let's say it's a. Let's say you got a 12 volt battery, right? Let's drop it down. And look at all those digits you have after the decimal. Okay, so let's say you got a battery right here, okay? And then you would just want to watch it change. You could zero it, and then you can see how much it changes plus or minus after that, right? So let's say it's charging up, or let's say it's discharging. You can just watch it discharge like that. Okay, that's interesting, right? Oh, here, by the way, let me hit that button. DC voltage, negative. 1.993 volt. Okay, let's take off the zero. DC voltage 10.356 volt. All right, guys, let's go to ohms and let's just check out these resistors, these high tolerance resistors. Okay, and I'll hit that little button. 10.13 ohm. Yeah, sorry, I keep on wiggling around on those terminals. Okay, 
100.16 ohm. Yeah, that's just me moving around. 10.004 kilo ohm. 98.73 kilo ohm. I kind of hit the button before I had the probe down. 99.99 kilo ohm. All right, guys, let's take some current measurements, okay? What I've got is I got my power supply up there. I got my power supply up there going to a load, and then out of the load, um, coming into this lead right here, okay? It's connected down here and coming up in here. And then this guy goes to the other end of the power supply, okay? So we're going to run some current through a load so I can control the resistance and... I think it should be actually happening right now. Here, let's turn on current. And look down here, it says, caution, be careful. Make sure you're measuring current. I said, yeah, I am measuring current. And there we go, 373 milliamps. Oh, hold on a second. Let's push that button. DC current, 0.3733 amp. Boy, I like that she says a zero before the decimal point. That's correct. <laughs> Okay, let's lower the current. All right, I'm gonna adjust it. Let's just go down to some small current. Okay, so let's take some voltage range just real quick. I just wanna drop this down under the 20 volt so you can see all the digits. Yeah, look at all those digits. Now as we go up, let's see where it flips up. Or where we lose the decimal spot. Yeah, so right at 20 volts, we lose that decimal spot. And then, yeah, there we go. So, okay, here, let's go down the millivolt range here. Okay, guys, we're in the millivolt scale. Look at all those digits. And then once we go over 20, it jumps up and we lose a decimal spot. My power supply is really sensitive in there. Just take it back to volts. So I'll just kind of move the voltage up and down so you can see that bar graph. You can kind of watch over here too on the app. All right, guys, let's do a little continuity here. Now, let's see if I just wanted to check that wire. And, okay, I'm holding that. Okay, I'll hold that one down and just touch it. Sounds pretty fast, right? And, and you can kind of hear it. It's a pretty loud tone. All right, guys, let's do it in circuit. I have a little ceramic here, but I think it's in parallel to uh, the bulk capacitors. I'm not sure, because uh, I've measured it before, and it's kind of high capacitance, so let's try. These in circuit measurements can be tricky. Yeah, 600 microfarad. 649.5 microfarad. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of funny, huh? Okay, this will go up to 10 millifarads, and that's what I just happen to have right here. I just shorted it out to make sure there's no charge on it. And let's see how long it takes. You know, this is uh, just uh, right around 9 millifarads, so that's about right, probably. But that, that wasn't too awfully long for a big cap. Okay, let's do uh, these diodes up here. Yeah, lights up right, 2.6. Red one, 1.8. 2.4 for the green. 2.5 for the blue. These are dim LEDs over here. 1.8, I think they're both 1.8s. 
So, and then we have the shock key here in the middle. Go to both legs on both sides. Yep. Okay, so, yeah, does a nice job on diodes. You know, there's one thing I want to try. I want to do this max, and then I want to take off my probes. Let's go to min. And then I, I just want to see what it thinks when we got... Uh, DC voltage, negative 0 0.206 volt. Okay, it just reads out the current uh, reading. Uh, it doesn't read out the max min. I was just curious about that. Okay, let's take it off that. And we're back to that. So now, what if that was a battery? We wanted to see how much volts we're charging. Now we can see it on the app, so we could just scale it. But I can go to zero, hit the relative, right? And then as it charges, it'll tell me how many volts are charging, like that. Okay? Now you can take it off relative, and it'll show me the full voltage. Zero, five. <laughs> Five volt. Oh, hey guys. Oh. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> so, what do you guys think? Leave me in the comments down below. Do you like the music? Do you like the little voice, you know, activated thing that tells you your measurements? Um, what do you guys think? Give me your comments down below. Does anybody have the older version or even this newer version of this Zotec uh, meter? Yeah, leave the comments down below. Uh, tell me if you like it or not. Uh, I want to give two thumbs up to Zotec for sending this out to me uh, to review and show to you guys. I'll put it on the bench here. I'll have to make some room with some other meters, right? But yeah, nice big display. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm set, setting things up in that. I think I might use the music too. It's pretty cool. I like the Bluetooth music. Uh, I do have another audio system I'm going to set up in here so when I'm doing audio testing. But anyway, not bad. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. All right. Hey, uh, two thumbs up to my patrons as always. Thanks a lot, guys. And you know what? Hold on a sec. I have this 20,000 count meter. I think it's basically the same meter as that without the sound and all that kind of stuff. This is going to be one of those meters I'm going to give away uh, for Christmas, okay? So, yeah. I'm going to, yeah, send me an email, okay? And say you want a meter or tools, whatever, in the subject. So, I'll catch it because I get a lot of emails and sometimes, you know, I hope I don't miss anybody. But I try to screen through them. And it'll make it easier if you just say, uh, you know, free giveaway or something like that in the subject line, okay? Well, guys, I, you know, for under 100 bucks, I, I think this is a pretty cool meter. So, pretty nice benchtop meter. Um, it's not like the Keithley with the four inputs, right? Uh, with all the digits. But then again, it doesn't cost anywhere near what that Keithley cost. <laughs> Uh, anyway, let me know what you guys think. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll... S hey guys, so if you want to support this uh, channel, there's a Patreon link down below. There's also that thank you, that one-time thank you thing. Buy me a cup of coffee, something like that. Uh, or, hey, I'd be happy if you just hit the like button. That'd be awesome. That's a great way to support the channel for free. And the links, by the way, I'll put the links down. I think there's going to be a discount code for this. So I'll check my email again and make sure I get that discount code. And if it doesn't show up when I release the video, uh, check again because they said they would send me it. And as soon as I get it, I'll put it there. And um, yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.